All right, so I think this is pretty cool. So I figured I'd do a video on it and get the word out, see if uh, I can help somebody out there with this. So what I have right here is a frog pad, one-handed keyboard, a binder clip, and a MacBook Air. So what I can do is combine all of these. So what I'm gonna do here this is the right-handed version. I'm gonna set this right on top of my keyboard right here. Then I'm gonna get the binder clip and clip it right here. Now the cool thing about this is that the MacBook Air is so thin. I mean, it's probably not the thinnest on the market anymore. They're probably thinner ones. But it's so thin that I can fit the frog pad and also the laptop under in between the binder clip like this so these are this is pretty much the largest binder clip you can buy uh, but you know you can just find those at staples or whatever so I'm gonna clip it down like that and now I have a frog pad on a portable laptop that I can move all around and it stays in place and what's cool about this is the bezel right here lifts it up just enough so that when I type on this keyboard, it's not pressing on the keys underneath. So it has just enough clearance, which is awesome. Uh, and then it also has, you know, this uh, little bezel thing or whatever on the side. So the keyboard to the right isn't, isn't flush against the side which I think could be a problem. But anyway, with the thin laptops on the market these days, I mean, this probably isn't an Apple-specific thing. Uh, I've also tried this on my wife's MacBook Pro. It also works. Uh, I mean, this is just really cool because, I mean, you can bring this to conferences, travel with it, everything like that, and don't have to worry about your frog pad. You would have to uh, unhook it if you wanted to you know, close the laptop again, but you know, you saw how easy it was to attach and disconnect the uh, frog pad. So I don't think that would be much of a problem. So hopefully I help somebody out there and see you later. Bye.